Hey guys, so today's video is going to be pretty much my personal ratings of pain for all the piercings that I've had, which is not like a crazy amount. I haven't had like everything, obviously, but going to rate the ones that I do have. Okay, so I don't remember this one, but gonna just assume that it didn't hurt because <laughs> my second one and my third one were probably like a one yeah um this one was probably like a two and a half just because it i had it done with a gun which i shouldn't have done but i did and it stung pretty bad actually i think it's like right on the like tip of my cartilage and then this top cartilage one I would probably say it was uh, one felt kind of like this and then I have like just the same four without the cartilage on that side <sighs> okay so I've had this nostril pierced twice um, in the same spot which is the same as like this one and then I've had this nostril pierced twice also but I have one that was like behind it so I would say all the ones that are like towards the front, like the normal nose piercing, is like a two. And the one that is like farther back, I would probably say is like a three and a half. I don't know, like, I don't know why. It just hurt like a little bit more than if it's a little bit more towards the front. It just like pinched a little bit harder. But if I, I've gotten a lot of my piercings done twice, and this is the only one I don't get like anxiety about besides like earrings, but yeah. So it's really not painful like at all. It's like a super quick, tiny little pinch that you barely even feel and it's done and it's over. So yeah. <laughs> Um, my septum, I've also had pierced twice. I got it pierced once unprofessionally and the second time professionally. The first time I got it done, it was pierced without a clamp, which actually made it hurt less. Um, I would probably say it was like a six. Cause I, I don't know, I think, I think part of it went through my cartilage, but when I got it re-pierced, I would probably say it was an eight. I don't know if it was because of like scar tissue in addition to like the clamps the little like it's like a clamp but it has tubes instead of like you know the normal clamps it's got like two tubes that like go underneath and it just I like felt the clamps and I was like oh I don't know if I can do this it was it was really painful and I was having a hard time just sitting there with the clamps on my nose like that's how painful the freaking clamps were so that combined with the piercing it was pretty sore um i would say it was an eight for me and i know some people say it's you know supposed to be no pain at all and like that can be true for certain people um i just experienced pain <laughs> for mine um but the second time i got it done it is pierced in the correct spot so it's not because it was in cartilage or anything. It just, I guess I just have a sensitive septum, I guess. Um, but out of all my piercings, this was the easiest healing process ever. Like I literally, then this is horrible, but I like literally cleaned it two times tops because it was doing so well. And I changed the jewelry after like, probably like two or three months and had no issues with it at all. And what is so great about this one is they put initially a horseshoe in your nose and you can just flip it up. So if you have like, if you just don't feel like seeing it or if you don't want someone specific to see it or for like a job or something, you just flip it up and it's not there. So definitely, definitely good piercing for that reason. All right, on to nipples. I just made a whole separate video about my um, piercing experience from the first time versus the second time 
but I'll just recap the pain for it. Um, the first time was worse. It was probably like the first nipple was probably like a 9 and the second nipple was a 10. You know, if I have to like stay between ten, like 1 and 10, because honestly I would say it was more than a 10. But it was pretty painful. And then after it got pierced, they were really uncomfortable and were like pretty much felt like they were on fire for like five hours afterward, which was pretty shitty. And the healing process for that one is a pain in the ass. Um, just because you, it takes like a year to heal and you know, you can't like play with it, you can't hit it on anything, which you'd be surprised, like your nipples actually catch on a lot more shit than you would expect. Especially if you don't wear bras a lot, which I don't. So like seatbelts, like backpack straps, headphones, purse straps, like just when you're like turning, your arm can hit it sometimes. Like there's so much shit that happens that like you would never think and bam, your nipples fucked. <laughs> so you have to be really careful with them. And you obviously, if you're dating someone, you can't have them lick them or play with them and you have to kind of be careful when you grab them because piercing there and you don't want to knock it around too much plus you don't want to put like dirty hands on them when they're healing but you also can't swim for a year and you can't change the jewelry for like eight months to a year depending on how yours are healing so like the healing process is kind of a bitch but yeah <laughs> the last two piercings that I've had done are my top belly button twice which you can see the two little scars the little circles and then I actually just got this one done today which is the inverse belly button piercing so the first time I got the top navel pierced I would say it was like a six and she actually didn't pierce enough skin at all because when I went and got it done at another place after this whole bullshit happened with my belly button, which I guess I'll just explain quickly what happened. Um, when you get your belly button pierced and it's going through its healing phase, it scabs a lot, especially when it bleeds and stuff and because you're bending your stomach all the time and moving it and stuff. Um, and a scab had connected the bottom of the ball, or well, the top of the ball that's at the bottom of the piercing to the skin above it and I like moved my body and it ripped the scab ripped that was like stuck to my skin the skin inside the piercing out so there was like this like I don't even know how to describe it it was like gooey skin like stretchy thin stuff that like I thought like oh this is probably just like pus or something with blood that it was skin like skin had gotten ripped from inside the piercing out and I was like what the fuck <laughs> and I tried you know cleaning it like extra like really trying to take care of it and it just wouldn't it was just fucked it just wouldn't heal so I was like okay fuck this I took it out I let it heal and a year later I was like I miss my fucking belly button ring because it's cute as fuck so I got it done again it was done deeper the second time, it looked better the second time, but I think the skin that I had like fucked to the point of no return when I ripped the scab on accident, it just never can be pierced through again and heal properly because I took care of it, I was so careful with it, and like out of nowhere that like skin started to like pop out of the bottom of the piercing there were no scabs there were no issues I didn't go swimming like I followed all the followed all the protocol for the piercing care afterward and there were just it just didn't work out for me unfortunately so I had to take it out again so this is about a year later again and I was like I want another piercing on my stomach so I was like let me try the bottom piercing so that's why I now have the bottom and not the top so the first time I got the top done, it, like I said, it was probably like a six, which I think is because it was closer to the surface, which might not make sense, but that's the theory I'm going with because, you know, when the second time I got it done and it was deeper, it was like 
maybe like a three or four. Like I did not feel it near as much as I did the first time. And just getting this one done today was probably like a high seven. He really struggled to get the needle through my skin, so I'm guessing that the skin at the bottom is actually quite a bit thicker than the skin at the top. Because I could just feel like the resistance, like it was definitely a really, really sharp pinch. And although like my nipples were really sharp pinched, the nipples only last like one second. It's very easy to go through. But the skin, like you're going through a lot of skin with a big needle and the skin's like pretty tough compared to like your nose or your nipples or whatever. So the pinch that's supposed to be super quick and whatever lasted for like five seconds. Like, and afterward, um, this part, not this top part, but the bottom part, whew, it was stinging like crazy for like a about an hour, but I never experienced that when I got my top one pierced. So I just think the skin at the very bottom of your um, belly button is just a little more sensitive and a little bit more thick. So that's what I would rate that one. Um, yeah, that's all of the piercings that I have currently. I am thinking about getting my industrial, so if I do get that, I'll make a video about it and the pain and all that stuff. But yeah, if you have any more questions, you know, about healing or taking care of it or anything, you know, just comment below and I'll answer you. Or if you have any suggestions on piercings you think would look good on me, let me know also because I like want another one but I don't know where. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful to anyone who was wondering about any of these piercings specifically. Thank you for watching. See you next time.